Hello, good morning. Here we are in the world of Radiohead's Kid A Amnesia. Kid A Amnesia. <laughs> this is my first time streaming a video game. If we can call this a game, we'll have to find out. So let's take a look around. Oh yes, this is all very uh, Tom York and Stanley Donwood, is it? Yeah, I think headphones are a good idea for this. Let's see, any other controls or just walking? Yeah, I haven't found any other controls yet. I can't jump. <laughs> oh, what's this? Oh, there's, there's a sound getting louder. That sounded slightly different to the album version of Everything in Its Right Place, didn't it? Doors in doors and there are trap doors. These are lyrics from Hulk Pull Revolving Doors. There are doors that open by themselves, there are sliding doors and secret doors, and there are trap doors that you can't come back from. Here they amnesia exhibition, this is not a game. <laughs> Flat out told us it's not a game. <laughs> Wow, it's really interesting to hear these sounds without the lead vocal on top. Sounds amazing. Some places will make sense, some will never make sense. See you later. <laughs> Look at this. You can definitely see how it was conceived as a physical exhibition in a real place. Whoa, holy shit. It's really cool how reactive it is to, to what I'm doing, the music. Ah, that sounds from the song Kid A coming in the right headphone now. Bloody hell, this is pretty disorientating. Ah, there's the drum beat of Kid A coming in. Are these guys friendly? They don't seem too pleased to be here. Bloody hell. Can't imagine how this would have been in real life, you know? So I guess there are like ideas in this that they would have liked to have done, implemented in a real life exhibition, but they've, they've taken it further in some cases. <laughs> There's so much to look at. Oh, I think we saw this place in the trailer. really interesting to hear that drum beat from Kid A so uh, without other sounds around it you know here comes the vibraphone or xylophone whatever that sound is just suddenly stopped because I changed where I was looking. Ah, the drums are getting quieter as I move away. We have a choice. There's a room down there that goes downstairs. Dark. The paper chamber in limbo. In limbo, what a great track. Oh, hello. Oh, that's tree fingers. Are we moving inside? 
Whoa. That's fucking creepy. Um, yeah, this song we're hearing is Tree Fingers with some sound effects from Pogpool Revolving Doors. I'm a little bit speechless in here. Where did I come in? Oh. Oh shit. I didn't expect that. Okay. You can kind of hear tree fingers emanating from the door still, but... I heard some sounds from the end of Morning Bell. Yeah, th there's some sound effects that are at the end of Morning Bell, but then obviously those were the chords from Idiotech just playing. What is this place? Yeah, I did, of course, think of the Matrix with all the text around, but... What the people are wearing now in what clever people talk about. I was gone, but now I'm back with a new book <laughs> I want to talk about. <laughs> Just the gaps between the ads, after all. This is how it smells in first class. It doesn't seem there's any way to interact with anything, except this zoom to take a better look. So, I guess to reiterate again that this is not a game. <laughs> but still, I appreciate you prodding me to try things, because I don't want to accidentally miss anything. Oh, by the way, where are we going? Oh, okay, there's a door over there. Let's continue. Oh, bit of slowdown every time it loads a new exhibit. How to disappear completely, pyramid song, you and whose army. Remember there was a choice of where to go a while back? I'm wondering about that other way that we never went. Anyone recognize that image behind? Kind of reminds me of some of the single artworks. Guess we just follow the arrow. Where I play. The music is actually coming from over there. I'm really disorientated as to where I am. I think it's the first time we're hearing a vocal from Tom unaffected, right? Are we actually disappearing completely?
We're completely immersed in pixels. That was beautiful. Transition from how to disappear completely to Pyramid Sun. We're getting squashed. I recognize that image from the Knives Out single, I think it is. It's like we're in an eyeball. Fucking gorgeous sun. This is awfully claustrophobic though, isn't it? Disappearing along with the song. Beautiful. I seem to be getting pulled. You and whose army? That's a sound effect from like spinning plates. God, all the uh, creatures in this have been extremely creepy. Whoa. <laughs> I actually stopped breathing. <laughs> Hellish, isn't it? Oh my God. Well, that was bloody horrifying, wasn't it? Tom must be a huge Doom fan. Oh shit, we're back in some kind of uh, space that could feel like reality of some kind. <laughs> After being in the uh, freeform for a while. Very disorientating. Seems the uh, sounds from like spinning plates are beckoning me towards that blue door. Once I take a look at all these paintings. They all seem to be in the style of the uh, single artworks from Kid A, but I don't recognize most of them. So they must be stuff they never put out before. Probably, you know, let me know if you guys recognize these. They range from pretty abstract to pretty horrifying. God, it's not very inviting, is it? Ah, there you go. Blue spikes, spinning plates. Here we go. We're going abstract again, boys. God, I love this song. It seems to be the studio version of the piano, but forwards. I'm following that little white character. God, it's overwhelmingly beautiful, that melody. And don't these visuals just suit the reversed samples? It's a spiked heart, Al. A hairless heart, if you will. Isn't this bizarre hearing the studio version forwards? Sounds fucking beautiful. Whoa. I didn't expect it to end the song. 
I regret it. I want to hear the rest. Fucking hell. I think we recognize those sound effects from uh, Pulp Pool Revolving Doors again, right? Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's pretty scary. <laughs> Don't look at me, man. It's okay, we came from the blue light. Should we go to the red light or the green light? Is this a lift? Oh, it is a lift. Adios. Toys kill... I can't read his handwriting. Leaves only... Only leaves the children. You're safe until you look away. No. The toys kill all... Something like that. This is called compromise. Pod straw donkey sloth. Ah, those are pyramid song lyrics. It says a moon full of stars, right at the top. Sounds like a Coldplay title, no? <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to blaspheme. The room is just a room, but blurred grey ghosts come in through the door. Blurry shapes with fingers. He's in bed asleep. We see him in bed. They seam up his eyes, me at a time, and then they sew up his mouth. Then it's morning and the two blurry grey ghosts leave. The sun is at the windows, his hands move. He just says, I can see you. That's the end. God, the kind of shit Tom was writing at this time. Hopeful revolving doors. See, somewhere like this, you can imagine it being in a real life exhibition as they originally planned, right? I'm really enjoying the mixture of this kind of stuff with the more abstract stuff. Music's getting louder and more. Revolving doors mixed with true love waves. I haven't heard the uh, third disc of the new set yet. I think this might be on it, this mixture, but I haven't heard it yet. Feels endless up and down, doesn't it? Oh, it actually tells you the titles when you zoom in. Yeah, I see that now. Thanks for the tip. Oh, wait. I've gone in a circle? I thought I was going up. Oh, sorry. Oh, I like that one. Am I actually heading up now? That's somewhere else to go. Hunting bears. I love this rhythm. I've always loved Pulp Pool Revolving Doors. I know it's not the most popular tune, but I've always loved its atmosphere. Quite interesting hearing it with True Love Waits over the top of it. Maybe they were thinking of doing that at one point. That's where we came from. So, have I gone in a circle again, or there's just many entrances or exits? Oh, these are quite different to a lot of the others. A little bit more in the OK Computer style. Whoa. That does creep me out when they just suddenly appear next to me like that. I guess that's just how it would be in a real exhibition too. This feels like spinning plates. I mean, the question is, does this have a top? <laughs> Quite an angry one. All right, I'm gonna try going off the edge. 
All right, no, I can't run off the edge, guys. No falling into the abyss. Oh, Jesus. Now, these ones are looking more like the artwork from the live album, right, Al? It's that kind of a mushroom cloud looking effect. I'm, I'm sure that's on the single of Knives Out. I can't believe how much artwork they made that never got used until now. Jeez, another pretty angry title on that one. I guess there does need to be an end to the art. They, they don't have infinite art to show us, right? Oh, I can see the uh, original inlay of Kid A coming up there. Nah, it's not procedurally generated, Julia. I mean, some of it could be, I guess. I recognize a lot of it, so... He just stops when I got in his way. Anyway, I wanted to see these ones. Some of my favorite artwork that they ever did, you know? Beautiful. That one's familiar too. Anyone remember where that's from? Is it in the Kid A booklet? Ah, this one is familiar, isn't it? Special edition of Kid A, I think it was. You can see this is like a variation on the idea. Whoa, look at that. This part in particular, you can imagine it would have been spectacular in person, right? Ah, and there's the Kid A cover. This might be a cover, Brave and the Amnesiac cover. Kid A is uh, my favorite Radiohead album. I like Amnesiac a lot too, but for me, Kid A is the one. Everything's getting more and more uh, sketchy and abstract at this point, isn't it? Ah, Pyramids. Relevant to Pyramid Sun. Torturous. Ah, oh, I recognize that one. It's on the 2 plus 2 equals 5 EP, right? Yeah, that's it, Com Lag. That's what I was thinking of. And all this is kind of in that same style, getting more into their digital art, digital ideas at this point. It's amazing how much they did and then how little actually got used, you know? But a lot of this stuff seems to be experiments, you know? Looking for ideas that work. Ah, have we looped around? I think we just have. I I'm pretty sure this is the stuff we started with. Yeah, there's Not Not A Tree. Yeah, we're back at the beginning. I did enjoy how it kind of built up through all the ideas and then showed us the final artwork. It was really well structured. So here we go. We're entering the Hunting Bears exhibition now. one uh, intense sine wave tone. Oh, looks like we're going outside, whatever outside means. Whoa. Poor little guy. Wow. They've brought the Kid A artwork to life with that, haven't they? But who are these guys? Are they meant to be us? <laughs> Looks like tears in reality. And over there a fire. I love that, how it brings together the original Kid A artwork with, uh, you know, it's the back cover, isn't it, of Kid A, that with the special edition. Yo, what's going on with the drums? Might be uh, unfinished drums that they were maybe going to use for hunting bears. Looks like next up is motion picture soundtrack.
pain and caviar. No, I don't regret a minute of from an idea by Tom York, Nigel Godrick, and Stanley Donwood. Nice, I, I assumed it was just Tom and Stanley behind all the concepts. Cool that Nigel was involved. I guess he probably helped with all the uh, meshing of different sound ideas from the album, you know? Mixing the uh, different parts of different songs and, and how they transition. Thanks for following Flint91 Sa. <laughs> and thanks everyone for joining me on this journey. It was spectacular. But I already feel like I want to do it again because as we were saying there were um there were some pathways we didn't take, right? I mean maybe it was just like a room we missed or something, but who knows? I want to see what else is in there. Well, what's going to happen now? Is it going to take us back to the beginning, maybe? Yeah. 
Yeah, it is. It's taking us back to the beginning. <laughs> Shown to us by these delightful fellows. Oh yeah, a map. I'll have to check for that. Well, I tell you what, guys. Maybe I'll do another. I'll do another stream later on, and we'll try to find anything we missed. We'll take a look at that map if we can find it. Oh hey, <laughs> he's making that one very difficult to grab. Ooh, secret rooms, you say? Yeah, it would definitely be fun to go back and try to find some of those. In fact, maybe we should deliberately look up, look them up so that we can not miss anything. <laughs> look at his face. <laughs> I love this place. This is where we started, isn't it? And Definitely set up the atmosphere. Hey, man. <laughs> they look so friendly. Well, everyone, thanks very much for joining me on this journey. And I hope to see you all again when we go on this journey again later on and see what else we can find. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and bye for now.